Okay, talk a little bit about the proportionality and variation. Here's a problem. Y directly proportional to x, y is 6, x when x is 15, find y when x equals 60. What does it mean for y to be directly proportional to x? Well, I'm not going to drag it out here the last day. So. Uh, this means y equals kx for some constant k. So 6 equals k times 15. k equals 6 over 15, which is 0.4. Thus, y equals 0.4x. Y is constant, or k is constant, so it's always the same. No matter what y and x are, k is 0.4. If x equals 15, If x equals 6, we're sorry. <coughs> well, it's 0.4 times 60, which is 24. Okay? So it's very simple. Much simpler than most of the stuff we've done. You just got to know the rules. Okay? Okay, now let's say y is... directly proportional to x squared. And y equals 400 when x equals 5. Y when x equals 12. Well, directly proportional, y directly proportional to something means y equals k times that something. That's what a direct proportion is, it's the way we've dealt with it earlier. And again, the homework I saw when I assigned this looked pretty good. Okay? And it's not a particularly difficult idea, so make sure you got it down. It's something that's fairly likely to occur on the test. Okay, well, we know that y is 400, but x is 5. Well, that's 400 over 5 squared, which is pretty easy to work out. 5 squared is 25. There are four 25s and 100, and you got 400, so there be, better be 16 25s in 400. times 12 squared, which is 16 times 144, okay? Everybody knows what 16 times 144 is, right? Let's see, 16 times 100 is 1,600. 16 times 4 is 64. 16 times 40 is 640. So just add 1,600. To 640, I get 2240, and add that to 64, I get 2284. I got to say that fast before I forget it. So if I'm right, that would be the answer. 
put a little question mark on that. I did it once in my head. It's not far off. But... And another way we could do it is 16 times 150 is 2400. Everybody knows that. Uh, and then you divide 60, subtract 64. No, sorry, 96. Yeah, it doesn't work out. It doesn't agree. But what could I possibly have done wrong? 1600 and 640 is 2240. And 64 is 2284. 2400 minus 6 times 16 is 96. And I get 2304. Big question mark. 2304 is actually simple. All of a sudden, I, I, I believe I've disproved the foundations of arithmetic. And you all be able to tell your grandchildren, you were here when that transforming event occurred. <laughs> okay? Uh, so be proud. Okay. Grayson, you got a calculator in your hand. You're going to check me on that? I'm checking that. It's 2384. Huh? It's 2384. Yeah. So how did I get 2284? 40 times 16 is incredibly 640. 640 added to 1600 is 2260. Oh, 2260. 2240. And 2240 and 64 is 2304. Everybody knows that. It's not 2284. Okay? I'm glad I checked. I almost made a mistake. Okay. How's that in 64 to 2220? There are too many twos running around there. Everybody, people brain the hat. Anyhow. Arithmetic's not important. The process is what's important. Okay? Okay. And then let's say that now y is inversely proportional. To x cubed. Somebody want to tell me what that means? What's inversely proportional mean? I mean, instead of k times the thing, it's k divided by the thing. This means let's say y equals 8,000 when x equals 4. equal 10, so I don't have to do hard arithmetic. Okay? Okay, well, the information we got is that 8,000 K over 4 cubed. So the K Is 8,000 times 4 cubed. 4 cubed is 64. I much like those 64s. Okay? And 64 times 8,000, I think it's 500 and 12,000. 12, yeah. I kept on saying 528, and I knew that wasn't right. Uh, just powers of 2. Okay? So it's 512,000. I had to divide 1,024 by 2 to figure out what that was. I have a great day. Okay, um, 512,000. Uh,
Okay. So that's now words around some of these problems, but you just let one of the words be Y and let one of the words be X. And then hopefully you think about what it means. Okay, so there's the process.